Right. So we are the foundation. We're called the Prince George's Cultural Arts Foundation. And we are raising money from the festival to give away scholarships to deserving students that are getting their education in the arts. So we're giving away five scholarships tonight, $2,000 each. And we will be awarding the scholarships tonight. So it's for a good cause. And we just want to thank everyone for supporting this effort. So that's what we're all about. My name is Eric Lilly. I'm the media chair for the Lake Arbor Jazz Festival, part of the Prince George's Cultural Arts Foundation Committee. We're glad to be here at yet another great uh, Lake Arbor Jazz Festival. We're here at the beautiful Martin's Camelot, and this year we're just bigger, better, and badder than ever. We've got a lot of great people coming out, people all dressed up, getting into some really good jazz music tonight, great ambiance, great food, and to really, really pay attention and recognize the, the work and studies of these wonderful youth, man, the youth who are going to be our future, the youth who we are awarding scholarships to for not only their artistic endeavors, but also their creative endeavors, as in more importantly, their educational work that they've done as they go off to college and continue with their education. So we're all glad to be out to start the festival off on the right note, and we'll see you later on tonight. A lot of great talent, a lot of great food. Everyone stay blessed, and we'll see you hopefully tomorrow at the festival. How are you? My name is Jeff Alexander. sacrifice for the music so that it remains alive and that's what I'm here for tonight tomorrow I'm teaching and this again I know you're getting full on that food good evening ladies and gentlemen all music lovers make some noise right now real music lovers make some noise we're here celebrating music y'all welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Lake Arbor Jazz Summer Affair 2015 my name is Tony Richards your host for tonight from 96.3 WHR and EHR listeners in the house I'm just checking just checking it's your folks okay cool Glad to have you in the house tonight, and uh, God has blessed us with some great weather. Looks like we get through with that rain, man. I know we've had enough rain for a lifetime, so we got great weather tonight, and the forecast promises some great weather for tomorrow while we're out there having fun in the sun and celebrating again some great jazz artists. So once again, it's my absolute pleasure to be here again with you guys tonight. We're going to have a great, great time tonight. We have some fantastic acts that are going to be performing tonight as well. But before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about, for those that don't know, a little bit about the Lake Arbor Jazz Festival, how it was created, a little bit about the background. First of all, the Lake Arbor Jazz Festival, it was created by a great guy, Kevin Alexander. He's a resident of Prince George's County. Yeah, give him some love. Kevin is a good friend, good hard work and dedicated community man. Uh, he's a resident, again, of Prince George's County and also the Lake Arbor community. The festival is produced by the Prince George's Cultural Arts Foundation, 501c3 nonprofit organization. It was established by Kevin and is supported by a dynamic committee who each have served in the festival inaugural year since uh, 2010. And of course, you'll get to meet some of those members a little bit later on tonight. Now, tonight's event was supported and created to support the philanthropic efforts of the foundation, which is to promote the arts in Prince George's County and support college students from Prince George's County who are pursuing degrees in the performing arts and visual arts. Scholarships will be awarded to five dynamic young people. I think that's great. Five dynamic young people whose interests range from music to dance and also to theater. And the man with the vision to make all that happen is here with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my very good friend, and he is the man, Mr. Kevin Alexander, the president of the Prince Corpus Cultural Arts Foundation. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Good. All right, thank you all for coming out. Uh, this is the sixth annual Lake Arbor Jazz Festival. 
This is the fourth year that we will be awarding students scholarship money. So I want to thank you for coming out and supporting this event. I want to thank all of our sponsors, and we want to acknowledge them personally later on in the program because without their support, this would not happen. So again, thank you all for coming out. Uh, tonight we have a wonderful, a wonderful night of entertainment, jazz music. Last night we started with a jam session at Stonefish Grill. Man, it was hot. Was, who, who was there? Anybody here that, was it nice? Oh, we had a good time. So, so that's, that was yesterday. Today, of course, we want to give away scholarships. Tomorrow will be the Lake Harbor Jazz Festival. Gates open at 12 o'clock. And then on Sunday we'll have the inaugural Lake Harbor Jazz Sunday Brunch Cruise. So all of the money that we raise will go to scholarships to young, deserving students who want to continue their education in the arts. So again, thank you all for your support. We really appreciate it. And I also want to thank our committee members who are out there this morning working hard. These two tables, we want to acknowledge them later on. But without their hard work and dedication, again, this would not be possible. Thank you so much, and let's enjoy the evening. Please put your hands together and make some noise for the We Are One Experience Band. Give it up, y'all. $2,000 each. 
this exciting. Every year we've given just a little bit more. And so by attending this evening, you have supported the education of these young people. Thank you so much. Three of the baddest saxophonists out there. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mr. Steve Cole, Mr. Jakeem Joyner, and Mr. Jeff Cashua. Ladies and gentlemen, they call themselves the Sax Pack. Give it up and make some noise and give them some love. Did you guys enjoy yourself this evening? We did. We did. It was yeah, fun. Great. Both bands. Very nice. I can't wait till tomorrow. Excellent. <laughs> you know, let's talk about vibrato real quick. Um, anybody using vibrato a lot? Okay. <laughs> you don't know how to use it or you do not? I don't know how to use it. Okay. The thing about vibrato, what you want to make sure that you do, is you, did, you, have, you ever had pound cake? Your mother or your auntie? Your auntie used to make pound cake? Good, right? What's the best pound cake? How much icing you got on it? Has on it? How much? Go oh, ahead, yeah. Not a lot? Very little, right? Because why? The pound cake is so good, right? Sound is like that. Your sound has nothing to do with vibrato. The sound, if you have a good sound, and all you do approach the vibrato like it's icing on the cake. Okay, so if I go, uh, 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 enjoying the music and enjoying a nice time. I appreciate it. Live, good, soulful, jazzy, sophisticated music right here to you in Lake Arbor. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Hi, I'm Deborah Bond. I am a singer, songwriter, and performer, and I'm also the hostess for this year's Lake Arbor Jazz Festival. It's always a good time. It's grown sophisticated people who have good taste in music. They know when they come here that they're going to have a good time. They're going to hear some amazingness. Every single year, we're never disappointed. The talent gets better and better and better, and it feels down home here. It feels like it's all family here. Everybody's just kicking back and relaxing themselves. We hear the DJ in the background, you know, getting the music ready just while, you know, the bands get ready. And, um, yeah, this has just been great. I'm happy to be here as a host again. And uh, I can't wait to get back on the stage, too, which I've also done. So, uh, yeah, come out. Check us out. We do this every year. We have three nights, four nights of good music. And we really hold it down with this Lake Arbor Jazz Festival. That's the real meat of the whole thing. So I hope to see more folks here. I'm Deborah Vaughn. Just us. Just listen. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a warm round of applause. Just 
just listen. Enjoy yourself.
Today and all through the weekend goes to a good cause, and that is to give scholarships to deserving students to attend college for the arts. So last night, if you were not at the Camelot, you missed a treat. We had We Are One Experience Band featuring a tribute to Frankie Beverly, and we had the sax pipe. It was a wonderful event at the Camelot, but the highlight was that we gave five scholarships of $2,000 each to students last night. So that's what the Prince George's Cultural Arts Foundation is all about. And because of your help and your support and the support of everybody behind us, you made this happen. Are y'all happy? Yay! Yay! Happy. To be here at the Lake Auburn Jazz Fest 2015. Yay! Great time? Uh, yes. Excellent time. Great time. Great time. Great time. <laughs> All right. It was worth it. Yes. As the crowd anticipates Eric Darius yes. coming along, <laughs> hot pounding, sweaty palms. Woo! Can't wait till Eric yes. come on. We're gonna do a song to you by Alicia Keys and we hope you enjoy it.
and girls, was this a heavenly experience or what? Yes, it was an awesome experience. I'm going to bring everybody I go and I'm going to brag to everyone who didn't come how much of an opportunity it is. Totally. Yes. Awesome. Like and I'm posting all our wonderful pictures and telling everybody you missed and you missed us. That's right. What'd you think? It was wonderful. This was my first time here and I will be back next year. Thanks to all the people who did all the hard work. Like me? Yes. Yeah.